Hey y'all, it has been <laughs> quite a long day. So um, we started out this morning talking with uh, Shonda Epps, who is the uh, owner of New Art by CJ Epps. And she got to walk us through some of my collection of her art and what it's like to be an artist and a woman business owner um, and just some of the challenges, but how she's overcoming those challenges. And then we spoke with uh, Mrs. Shamika Gerald, principal of Heritage High School, which is in my district. So proud of the amazing, amazing things that are going on at that school. And she talked about how, you know, her journey is inspiring others and how she's been in inspired by women. Then I was at Warwick High School for a little bit today where I graduated. Go Raiders! Um, I was one of the um, students in the first graduating class of the International Baccalaureate Program so long ago that we are no longer on the wall. Um, that that kind of hurt, but it was great to be there and I just, you know, I had to reflect while I was in the hallway. Um, what my life would look like and how different it would be if it was not for the women that I had as teachers. Um, of course, I had some great male teachers today, I mean, as well. But today is uh, International Women's Day, and so we're, I'm just celebrating the amazing women that I've had in my life and how they helped shape my trajectory and um, put me on a path towards success. And um, some of the, those lessons that I learned, I use every day. Like, I can hear Mrs. Shepard yelling at me um, for math class to show my work. And, and, and I try to show my work in everything that I do. And Mrs. Watson, oh, she just instilled in me a love for physics. And um, good Lord, Miss Brunson. Oh, God rest her soul. Miss Brunson made sure that all of the I's were dotted and all of the T's were crossed. And you never took anything for granted because your work had to speak for you and so you wanted it to be proud of everything that you did and um, there were just so 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 many women um, I could go on and on and on uh, but I also want to give a special shout out to my first teacher my mother um, who taught uh, pre-k for 30 years and just thinking about the number of lives in addition to mine and my brothers um, that she positively impacted in the classroom and all of her assistants and support staff and, and all of them and just at four how impressionable we are at that young age and what a great job she did teaching so many of them and so I just want to give a special shout out to all of the teachers uh, women men alike but but especially today the women who are shaping our future and who spend more time with our children than we do sometimes. And so we just wanna uplift them and let them know we thank them for their, um, their work that really never ends. Um, and then from there, I went to, where did I go next? Oh, I went to work <laughs> because I didn't take the day off. And so I spent time with the amazing community organizers at Virginia Block. And we talked about some of their, oh, just they have great ideas. And they have so much energy and so much passion. Um, so we are just looking forward to a lot of the events that are coming up. And we do have Darius, Simone, Cameron, and Alex. Um, but special shout out to the girls today for International Women's Day. The the impact that you're making on our communities and how you are empowering other women and the larger community is just, I mean, I, I love you guys and I love the work that you're doing. And then from there, um, I went to an event where we were talking about government and we were talking about politics and I spent some time with Indivisible, um, the Peninsula chapter of Indivisible, and we talked about the legislative session, what went well, what didn't go so well, especially as it pertains to women. And, um, you know, we are under unprecedented attacks, but some of this is the same old games that people have been trying for years. And so the more we educate ourselves as to how the system works and how we can change the system and be effective advocates for our issues, um, the more and the better our work, um, the, the more impact we'll have and the better our work will be. So that was today. But let me tell you this. One of the things that we had planned was to visit uh, women-owned businesses in the 95th district. And I know there are some, and I celebrate you today, but they're definitely not enough. And so I met with some staff from uh, Newport News Development Department, and we are going to have an event on March 30th. 
and it is solely for women and it's for those of you that want to start your own business or that may have your own business but need to know some of the resources that are out there. We're gonna have Newport News represented. We're working on getting Hampton represented. We're also gonna have state level representatives talking about some of the amazing small business initiatives that we have passed in the last session. And really, plugging you into those resources so that you can start your own business or be successful in the businesses that you've started. So that is March 30th and that's seven to nine and that's at the Waterworks building. So you'll see this information on my Facebook page. Um, in addition to that, we have office hours planned for March 16th and in the morning we'll be at Gethsemane uh, Baptist Church, and in the evening we'll be at Denby Community Center. So give Tempest a call. Hey, Tempest. Tempest is amazing. Another amazing woman making a huge impact. Um, her number is 757 266 five nine three five and um, she will get you all set up with an appointment. And then beyond that, on April 5th, we go back to session for reconvene, and that's when we're taking action on um, everything that the governor has sent back to us, either by way of veto or by way of recommendations um, and, and suggestions on how to make bills even better. So that's April 5th. Uh, April 17th, we will have our next town hall, and we will discuss the final bills, bills that will definitely become law on July 1st. So don't forget the work that your Virginia legislature does in uh, January and February. That goes into effect July 1st and affects your life immediately, if not sooner. Remember that emergency clause. Um, so we'll have that and that's April 17th. So uh, stay tuned for that. We're um, gonna be at the South Morrison Family Education Center, 6.30 to 8, April 17th. Um, so it's been a busy day but I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, I love what I do. I love helping to connect people with resources and making government accessible. Um, so I hope you enjoyed uh, the videos from today and some of the updates and we'll look for you at our next events. Have a good night.